So in this video, I'm going to go through some examples of writing an expression as a single logarithm. So I've left this up here from the previous video um, because this is going to become particularly useful for numbers 2, 3 and 4. So let's take a look at number 1. We have 3 log base b of m plus 5 log base b of n take away 2 log base b of p. So first thing to do is deal with the values that are outside of the logarithms and bring them up to the powers. So I'm going to write that as log base b of m cubed plus log base b of n to the 5 take away log base b of p squared. Then, working from left to right, so deal with the first two first, I'm going to use the product rule here. So that would be log base b of m cubed n to the 5. And now, between these two logarithms, I can use the quotient rule. So that would be log base b of m cubed n to the 5 over p squared. And now it is written as a single logarithm. Okay, let's look at number 2. 4 log base 3 of x take away 6 log base 3 of y plus 1. So, first of all, let's deal with the 4 and the 6. So, we'll bring that up to the power. So, we'll have log base 3 of x to the 4 take away log base 3 of y to the 6. So, bring the 4 up to the power, bring the 6 up to the power. Now, the 1, if x is 1, then it can be replaced with log base b of b to the 1. So, log base b of b. Now, the base here is 3, so 1 is the same as log base 3 of 3. So now, working from left to right, we can use the quotient rule first. That would be log base 3 of x to the 4 over y to the 6. And now use the product rule. So that's log base 3 of x to the 4 over y to the 6 times by 3. So 3x to the 4 over y to the 6. And now it's written as a single logarithm. OK. Now number 3. Let's deal with the half and the 2 first. So we'll have log base 5 of 4 to the half, then take away log base 5 of 3 squared, plus 2. Now, if I want to place 2, if the x is 2, the x there is 2. So I'll have log base b of b squared. Now, the b here is 5, so that would be log base 5 of 5 squared. OK, now log base 5 of 4 to the half. Well, 4 to the half is just 2. So log base 5 of 2. Then we'll have log base 5 of 9. And then log base 5 of 25. So working from left to right, let's use the quotient rule first. Log base 5 of 2 over 9. And now we can use the product rule. So log base 5 of 2 ninths times 25, so that would be 50 over 9. And so that is now written as a single logarithm. OK, so number 4. Let's deal with the 5 and the third first. So we'll have log base 4 of 5 to the 5. Then take away log base 4 of 1,000 to the 3rd. Now the minus 3, if x is negative 3, then x there is negative 3. So we could have log base 
b of b to the minus 3, which would be log base 4 of 4 to the minus 3. Now, if you didn't want to take it up as a minus 3, you could have take away and write that as log base 4 of 4 to the 3. You could do that instead if you wanted to. So the alternative is that or that. And it doesn't matter which. OK, so you might prefer doing that just to kind of keep that as a minus. It's really up to you. I'll keep it with that. So log base 4 of, so we need 5 to the 5, so 3,125. Take away log base 4 of, well, 1,000 to the power of a third is 10. And then log base 4 of 4 cubed, well, 4 cubed is 64. So working from left to right, we have log base 4 of 3,125 over 10. So that's 625 over 2. And then we have log base 4 of, now using the quotient rule, 625 over 2 divided by 64. So 625 over 128. And now it's written as a single logarithm.